friends. It is about 9.30. Okay, welcome to my vlog. This is gonna be a day in the life. I'm thinking of doing a new thing, which is like a daily diary, which is literally just like a vlog of the day, but then in front of it, I'm gonna be like, daily diary. And then like, what kind of goes on in the vlog? <laughs> I'm gonna get back into my bed, even though I made it. Okay, so for the past few days, I have been pretty sick. Hasn't been very enjoyable, okay? So I'm saying I'm in a schlump, but really I was just sick and haven't been able to move out of my bed for a few days, so you know, I'm gonna cut myself some slack. Cause you know, when you're sick, you're allowed to just stay in bed. And even if you're not sick, you can just stay in bed, it doesn't really matter. But this is how, I'm going to show you guys how I get out of a slump. How to start feeling alive again. So I woke up and I made my bed today, but then I decided to get back into it. And did I sleep in this bed? No, I did not. I slept in my parents' room because their bed is bigger and it is really comfortable. And the sheets are super soft and they're not home. So I slept in their bed. And then I got into this bed put my camera there, pretend I was sleeping, get up, and then film myself opening the blinds. But it's all for the vlog, it's all for the aesthetic. So, you know, yeah. I haven't washed my hair in a few days. It's getting a bit crazy because I've also had it in a bun. I watched three, no, I watched four cheesy movies last night because I was really stressed out because I was like, I got to apply to universities, I have to do my homework, I missed a day of school, I have been sick, I don't feel well, I haven't been posting YouTube videos, like, I don't know what to do anymore. Anyway, so I just got a huge, like, burst of, like, anxiety and, like, stress and, like, all that kind of stuff. So then... I just kind of sat down and I was like, okay, what do I do? So then I decided to go and work on my art project because it took my mind off of it. And then I watched four movies, which I will review over a cup of coffee for you guys. I do want to wash my face because I do feel very tired and I also can't see, so I have to put in my contacts. So sorry if I'm looking all over the place because like everything is really blurry. So yeah, anyway, I did actually have a good sleep last night. Went to sleep at like 12, woke up at 9.30. It's pretty rainy today. It's not the most beautiful weather. I have a soccer game that I would have gone to today, but I've been sick for the past few days and I feel like playing in the pouring rain for two hours might not make me feel better. Let's start, let, I'm gonna just gonna go wash my face. So, you know, I'm gonna go do that. Okay, so I've finished washing my face, putting in my contacts. I am now capable of seeing two feet in front of me. So, I want to make a coffee and discuss the movies that I watched last night. However, before that, I'm gonna give you guys a room tour because some people have been asking, and I also have switched rooms. Now I sleep in my sister's room. So I'm gonna give you guys a little room tour because it is different from my old room. So I'm gonna show you. Also, my sister moved away to university. That's why she was no longer using the room. So yeah. Okay, so welcome in. We got my wardrobe because this closet is smaller. So you're like, Kate, why did you move into this room? Well, the bed is bigger, you know? I have a desk and I like the window there. So when I wake up, I'm like, window. Anyway, this is where I have a lot of trinkets. I should probably organize it a little bit better. I have some necklaces. Hang my leather jacket here. I have my rings here and stuff. All my homework. Crystals. Rocks. Crystals. You know. Salt lamp. My plants that I'm propagating. I think that's the word. I don't really know. I need to find a pot for them. And then these are a bunch of photos from my mom and my dad's old like photo albums. Got a little candle that my mom got from, I don't know, it smells really good. Anyway, got my hat. Here's me, hello. I need to clean this mirror, it's very dusty. And then I have my wall with all of these cool posters from when my mom was traveling around like Europe when she was younger. And then she has like all of the, all of her train tickets and stuff. I don't know, very cool. Books that I don't read because I don't read books unfortunately, which I should. More jewelry than my bed. So that's a tour for you guys.
Good morning, my friends. Today, I've got my coffee and my favorite breakfast. Peanut butter toast. Peanut butter on toast. I don't have a table because I'm in the office. I'm gonna eat my peanut butter toast. This is my favorite breakfast. I haven't had it in a while. So as promised, I'll be doing a review of the movies that I binge watched last night. Three of which were cheesy Christmas movies. The last one was To All The Boys I've Loved Before, part three, or the third movie. I don't really know what the title was. So, one of the movies I watched of the christmas e movies all like kind of like cheesy ones. The first one I watched was the one with Nina Dobrev and she got like catfished by the guy and it wasn't the most amazing movie I've ever seen before but it wasn't too bad. As for like cheesy Christmas movies. Why do they all have to be about love? Second movie was Christmas Drop. That was a good one too. I actually liked that. I mean it was still like cheesy Christmas movie. You expect, it's all, they're all like, they have a bunch of cliches. You're like, okay, you know, they're gonna fall in love or whatever. The next one I watched was Holiday. It was with Emma Roberts. It was good. I liked that one, actually. Like, it wasn't, the, it wasn't super cheesy. It was good. I enjoyed it. And it wasn't really a Christmas movie because it took part throughout the entire year. So I wouldn't really say that it was really a Christmas movie, but I would recommend that movie to other people. The other two, I wouldn't like recommend unless they're looking for like a cheesy like romance Christmas movie, which, you know, sometimes that's what you feel and that's what I felt like last night. And then I watched Two All the Boys I Loved Before Part 3. Yeah, so I watched four movies last night. I always end up like watching a bunch of movies within like a few hours and then like I don't watch anything for like months. And while I was watching all these movies, I was working on my art project, which I kind of hate. So, you know, I can show you guys, but I do kind of hate it. So, you know. This is the art project. The project was to draw a lot of hands. Okay, these are kind of bad. So, we'll see. I don't really know what I'm doing yet. Okay, guys, so as promised, this video would be how to get out of my slump. I apologize for the trail off. I don't know, I got distracted. Okay. So first, what you're gonna wanna do is make some lists. I like to write down all I have to do on a little notepad, so maybe I'll get it done. Today, what I wanna do. What day is it today? Sunday. Okay, now I have a list of things I need to do today. First, study for my bio quiz. CLC, which is Career Life Education, which is an online course that I have to do, and I have to do like a journal entry thing. Next, we got university applications. I cannot even think of these or else I will start crying. So, probably will not end up doing those today because they stress me out a lot. Then we have paint nails, which I can do, very easy. Uh, something that helps me procrastinate. Then we have laundry, which is also easy, clean, like just stuff like I need to clean my mirror, you know, maybe vacuum my floor. I need to change my parents' sheets because I did sleep in their bed and I was sick. So, and then pick out outfits, which also another distraction from my homework, really great option. So that's what I have today. I would say go for a walk, but I'll just, I'll just show you why I'm not going for a walk today. Yeah, we got a rainfall warning, which I mean, very understandable. It's really rainy. Oh. Also, I do have to go to the grocery store. I think that'll be a good thing to get me out of the house because I haven't really left in a few days. I also have to get some gas. So I'm gonna write, get gas and grocery store. Here we go, here's my Sunday list. And this kind of helps me to be more productive. So that is all the stuff I have to do. I know I'm probably not gonna do the university applications, but I do have to study for my bio test. I keep saying bio test, it's just a quiz. I don't know what to do first. I think I'm gonna do my laundry and clean and pick outfits and get gas and go to the grocery store first because I really wanna procrastinate a lot. I did not think my hair was this bad. Actually, my hair doesn't look bad. It's just been in a bun for three days, so.
right, one thing to kind of check off the list. Laundry. There we go, another thing to check off the list is cleaning. Just kidding, I'm gonna go clean my bathroom. And I don't really have anything to clean in here. I just dusted this, so, you know, that's really all I have to do. Awesome. Yet another thing we're going to check off the list is clean. So now I have seven things left to do for the rest of the day. What shall I do now? I choose pick outfits. The act of picking out an outfit takes me a long time. I don't know why. It takes me like three hours to pick out five outfits. But one's already picked for me, so that's nice. Now I don't have to think about it. But it's gonna be literally pouring rain for the entire week. So that's really nice. I'm really excited about that. Let's go pick out some outfits. Alright guys, for the last hour or two, I have been formulating outfits. Have I been successful? No. I don't like the outfits that I picked out very much. Sometimes like, it's usually at night, I'll get like a burst of creativity, you know? And then I'll go through all of my clothes and like pick out outfits and stuff. That happens like once, once every few weeks. I haven't had one of those in a while. A little burst of inspiration, I have not had one of those. So, the outfits in there aren't that cute. Unfortunately. I'll just click off one more thing from my list, which is pick outfits. Now we have six more things to do. I also have to make lunch because I'm a bit hungry. Maybe I'll make some gyoza. I'm gonna go make some lunch, do a little bit of homework, shower, go grocery shopping, and then study. Sounds pretty good to me. Unfortunate event of the day, we do not have gyoza. So I'm making chicken nuggets, which will take like 20 minutes to cook, unfortunately. So then now I'm gonna make a salad. You know, while my chicken nuggets are cooking, I'm gonna go to this store and get some stuff to make a salad because we don't really have much stuff to make a salad. And I also have to get a few other things. So I'm gonna go to the store. Okay guys, let's go to the store. Let's go. Honey, I'm home. Grocery shopping is great. So fabulous. I'm gonna give you guys a little haul of what I got. First we got Happy Planet Green Extreme. Extreme Green, love this. Very good for brec with breakfast and stuff. Makes me feel like I'm actually very healthy. Got some lettuce for salads. Some kiwis because kiwis have been really good lately. I eat them with the skin on, which is like, I feel like that's like, frowned upon, but I don't really care. And then I got some plums. I don't really know if they're in season, but we're gonna try. Then some spinach, because I love to put spinach in my salad, because it makes it very tasty. So, yeah. Then we got some raspberries, blueberries, and cucumbers, and lemons. There we go, produce. Yum. So that's my shopping my chicken fingers are done, which is absolutely fabulous. I'm really hungry, so I'm gonna eat them. Yum! Now I'm gonna watch Netflix and eat my lunch.
Okay guys, just got out of the shower. That was very nice. Showered, I got gas, went to the grocery store, you know, did most of the stuff that I planned on doing today, which is good. And now I have to sit down and do homework, unfortunately, which I was not looking forward to. I was actually procrastinating that. If you could not tell, I'll probably paint my nails and then do my homework because I am a master at procrastinating. I gotta moisturize because my face is kind of dry. So I'm gonna do that. All right, so I'm wearing fuzzy socks. They're very warm. I wanna sit in a warm bed and drink a cup of tea and read a book even though I don't read books, which I kinda wanna start reading them because I don't know, books are like good for your brain and stuff. I accomplished a lot of the things on my list today, which is good. To procrastinate yet again, I will be painting my nails. Let's do this. And then after I paint my nails, I'm actually gonna do my homework. Okay guys, nails are painted, finally. And now I'm going to force myself to do my homework. Okay, let's go, I'm so excited. I love doing homework. It's really foggy outside. Oh, spooky, spooky. Look at it. So winter, so fall winter aesthetic. So Gilmore Girls. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why suddenly I have so much energy. I'm just gonna go and do my work now. Okay, just ate dinner. Now I'm watching a crash course on biology. So I'm gonna continue studying until I go to sleep, probably. Actually, maybe not. That'll be a long time. I'm not going to sleep until like probably like 10 30. that's like another three hours <laughs> okay guys it's about like 10 o'clock now and i have to wake up early because i have to go in early tomorrow to take a quiz that i missed because i was sick so i'm gonna go in early tomorrow yeah so i'm just gonna go to sleep now that was the vlog. I hope you guys liked it. The little day in the life, getting out of a slump, you know, trying to be productive vlog. I'm feeling much better after like being sick for a few days and now I actually have like energy and yeah, it's good. It's nice. So that was my day today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.